Hello everyone. So I want to introduce the new module for this week and I apologize that I don't have a fancy video to kick this off. Um, this assignment, the assignment for this module is a little bit uh, challenging to pull together given the larger class size we have this year and the outdoor footage that I shot for the video just wasn't worth showing to anybody. So we're going to just kind of uh, do this as we can and uh, and kick this thing off. So this module is on briefs and briefs are just what they what they say they are. It's a short summary of a, a piece of technical writing, a science writing. Um, and you might think well isn't that what an abstract is and most papers have an abstract. The problem with abstracts is that they're written in a very technical nature and if you're not familiar with that topic or that uh, the sort of literature around that topic, they can be pretty dense and hard to uh, um, hard to understand and interpret. And so a brief is written for a more general audience. When I was with USDA, uh, they called these interpretive summaries, and we had to write an interpretive summary for every article that we published, regardless of whether it had an abstract or not. And the idea was that anyone from the public could pick up that interpretive summary and, and understand what it was that our paper was about and more importantly understand like the so what of that, right? What was the implication of it? So in this module we're going to have a chance to write some briefs and we're going to do this in the context of two regular columns that we published in the journal Rangelands. So I think I've mentioned in the, my course introduction for the video that I'm the editor of Rangelands and uh, Rangelands is a management journal or a practitioner's focused journal of the Society for Range Management and so we publish a lot of like synthesis type articles that sort of distill um, science information and provide that that sort of management implications of that science to people who, who have the responsibility of taking care of rangeland resources. So we have two columns every issue in rangelands. One is called Browsing the Literature and that one is spearheaded by uh, a friend of mine, Matt Germino, who is a scientist with the USGS down in Boise. And Matt goes through, um, you know, sort of searches for literature um, current things that have been published uh, about rangelands um, and, and sort of writes short summaries or briefs about these articles and then we publish those in, uh, in each issue of rangelands. Um, and the second feature that we have each issue is called the REM highlights and REM stands for Rangeland Ecology and Management which is the society's other journal and REM is more of a research focused journal so those are going to be like the hardcore science papers and for each issue of REM then we um, provide a, a, a brief for each of the papers and, uh, and that gets sort of published in that REM highlights. Um, both of these features, browsing the literature and the REM highlights, are actually really popular with our readers. Um, the, the readership of rangelands tends to be a lot of uh, land managers, um, ranchers, people working for NGOs, and also your typical sort of science community as well. Um, but both or all these, these groups really appreciate this, uh, this sort of synopsis or quick view of, of the literature. So for the assignment, um, it's, it's a little bit more complicated this year because we have more students. So we are going to uh, write briefs for the REM highlights and then ask you to go out and search the literature for uh, recent publications that have to do with rangelands. And um, you know, again, that can be pretty broad. It could be anything from grazing to fire to invasive species to social issues wildlife recreation right it you know the, the sky's the limit in terms of the of the the topics but it does need to be related to rangelands and rangeland management okay um so if you'll find an article you'll write a brief for that and and submit those and then these are actually going to be published in the april issue of uh, of rangelands and you will get credit as sort of contributing to that uh, to the columns for that issue. 
So we did this last year for the REM highlights and it worked really well and I think that the students got a lot out of it and appreciated it. So we're going to try it again this year. Um, make sure that you read through the uh, instructions for the assignments and uh, definitely reach out to, to me or to uh, Matt Germino. His contact information is also in the assignment instructions. Um, if you have any questions. Okay, so uh, good luck and I'm really looking forward to, to seeing these briefs. Thanks.